guys thank you so much for coming back to check your girl out yet yeah, another freaking again it's your girl chrissy and guess what mother I'm effing back <laughs> okay so first of all excuse the lighting it was too um, bright and in my face so i had to use the blinds and now we got this effect going on it's cute though it's cute it's different I, you know it's different so put this one around me but um so <sighs> You know, Valentine's Day is coming up and I just want to share my thoughts where I'm at about this whole Valentine's Day thing. Um, for those of you who don't know, your girl is currently on a celibacy journey, on a dating journey. On a dating um, journey, I should should rename it to on a quest to a date journey. I'm on a quest to go on a date journey. On a quest. <laughs> to land a date okay um yeah so like with that being said um obviously i don't have a valentine i did get asked a couple of times by a couple of people um to be their valentine um, and i declined respectfully because uh, you know of course a couple of them i didn't even give a response but as far as the people that i know i declined respectfully because it's like our history is our history you wasn't trying to be my valentine when it was when i was your valentine you know what i mean so like i don't even care to cross those bridges you know i'm just i've been on this thing lately just being intentional and just being sure about what i choose to entertain <clears throat> you know now because i'm aware that i'm a hopeless romantic and you know i can't just jump at every offer every time a guy wants to take me out and that's why i'm still in this situation where i'm still on this quest to a dating journey you know um because i'm not jumping at everything so yeah i did turn down a few valentine would you be my valentine day offers you know i just feel like at this point um as as much as i would love to have a valentine and to be showered with gifts <laughs> as much as i i could use it right now um it's just certain things to me it's just like it, it doesn't have any intention behind it i don't care to just do something for the minute i don't want to be unavailable when the right person walks through the room you know and i don't want to open um or entertain anything that really bears no fruit you know so i'm all about being fruitful and in order to be fruitful you have to you know, uh, focus your energy towards things that bears fruit, you know, especially if you ain't no dummy, you ain't no fool at the, at a certain point you learn that certain, uh, relationships and environments, um, bear no fruit to you. So you got to move on. Um, that's why I declined respectfully. It's just like, I'm not desperate. Um, as no matter how bad I would love to have that whole vibe right now, it's just not going to happen. I'll wait another year or whatever. I do realize um, one of the biggest struggles I am having because yes, even though I haven't been on a date yet, um, I am still communicating with different men here and there. And what I've learned through this whole process and by communicating with different men here and there, you know, just like on the dating from the dating apps, um, yeah mainly from the the dating apps like i feel like the dating app gave me like a lot of insight on um you know just how to communicate i'm not gonna say it gave me insight on how to communicate but it definitely gave me insight on what not to say or what not to do or things that i say that i feel turns men off um recognize the why behind it because sometimes i feel like i do it intentionally to turn them off like like a mind game but it's not a mind game because it's like my truth but at the same time how you choose to handle it and how you go you know with my truth how you choose to handle my truth moving forward lets me know how to handle you you know what i mean like that's what i mean um but um that's what I feel like I'm lacking, honestly, because even with all of the random one, two day, uh, couple hour conversations with the different men that I've communicated with um, on the dating app, um, I just, you know, realized that maybe I really just don't know how to communicate, you know? 
And then um, I just started to feel like that because, you know, it was at some point I felt like I was just, I'll say something and they just like take off. So like, I realized that yes, a part of me are is saying these things to, to you know, weed out the good men from the bad. Um, or, you know, the one that is more ideal for me, and, you know, the one that fits me and one that doesn't. But I'm also realizing um, that it's not me, okay? It's not me. It is this day and age. It is this dating scene, the dating pool. It's what's available. Um, it's very scarce out here for women like myself and men like myself who are diligently committed to finding the right person even though it is a little bit later that some may say i feel like we're in our primes in our 30s you know um, i'm still learning and growing in my 20s and now the woman that i am today versus the woman i was when in in my previous relationships where i was engaged i wasn't ready for what i am ready for now you know and another two three years from now i probably would say the same thing about this very moment, you know? So um, what I can take away is everything ain't for everybody and um, this dating pool is not for me. So it kind of has me a little bit concerned because it's just like, you know, because I'm so adamant about what it is that I want and don't want and what it is that I know I deserve and my kids deserve, and my family, you know, um, being that they are an extension of me and knowing what it is that though a, a lot of men in that category seek, because don't get me wrong, I've been communicating with men that, you know, that has the income, the, the you know, the career and stuff that, you know, I would want that are businessmen like, you know, it's just a communication barrier or the fact that because they are fully aware that they are these alpha men, um, that I'm an alpha woman, you know, so it's like you can't get me to be submissive just because you make X amount of figures a year. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know you, bro. <laughs> like, give me a chance to warm up to you. And I feel like the men in this dating pool are not doing that. Like, all you guys are thinking about is the fact that I don't want to have sex until I'm married or until I meet the right person. Um, preferably, that will be when I'm married, you know? That's, That's what I feel like men hear and men don't hear you know this woman been through a lot and she's vulnerable and you know she's doing what she needs to do respectfully to protect herself and how amazing would it be to be the one to really truly and genuinely break that wall down and be the man of her dreams and you know to be the one that i know that i can be for her I feel like they just think automatically about sex and that's why I, I stick with this because it helps you wean out who's for you and who's not for you. And furthermore, um, you know, I just, it, the biggest question that I get in while dating or talking to, you know, men online is like, oh, you know, the test driving, the car scenario. Like, I really hate that. Right. You cannot compare me to a car. I'm a human being, okay? You don't get to test a human being, okay? Situations fall as they fall, but I believe because I'm more of a sapiosexual who's attracted to men, um, and men are my preference and preference only, um, you know, I'm more intuitive to the mind. So I do believe physically, yes, there are certain criterias of a man that he would have to fit fit you know profile wise he may not be confident in me but trust me i'm confident in me okay so i need him to be you know physically built a certain type of way if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying and that's um, all i need to know if he if if he got what i need then i can handle the rest so I'm not worried about like test driving a car because at the end of the day, the most you can do is mind F me on a, on a greater level. Like turn me on by how intelligent you are or uh, yeah, like how knowledgeable you are or how passionate you are about something or how hardworking you are and 
how um, you move with integrity and how loyal you are and how, you know, just God fearing you are. Turn me on like that. Okay. That's the only thing that concerns me. It's like, can a guy really get my mind to that space? Because I, you be talking and I be over here like, mm. Mm. you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, like, I don't know. So with that being said, like, it's just dating for me is so incredibly hard. It hasn't even been a year yet since I've decided to be open to dating and even though i've been single for over three years this is the the hardest because i guess because i'm now open to it and realizing how incredibly hard it is to really find somebody or to connect with just one individual that is literally on the same kind of time you are on that fits everything you know but you know no matter how difficult it may seem because i'm in this one little bubble you know i do plan on going out and getting out more when the weather breaks um you know putting myself out there traveling more this year you know make myself seen because i do believe a big portion of that is because i really don't go anywhere you know i be in a house all the time i don't really put myself out there to be seen um, social media is one thing because, um, believe it or not, I don't want anybody from social media. Um, unless I already know them personally, I don't want to connect to somebody. That's that. That's not what I see for myself because to me it's not natural. It's just too many what ifs. It's too many what ifs and as much as I would love to really be able to give online dating a try and, you know, to connect with other males you know on a social app i just can't like i just don't trust it i don't care for it like you can be who you want to be you know what i'm saying like a lot of people don't even do what i do on here you know i put myself out here on a platform and this is all just surface level stuff you feel me a lot of people won't even give you this so when it comes to me and someone that's following me on social media um, that I've never met before. I do not care to build a bond with you because I feel like you're attracted to something else. And, um, and I don't want to just be a fantasy, you know, because I've been that too. I, I've been there before too. So, yeah. um, I don't know. So once again, I'm approaching another Valentine's day single is F. To be honest, I don't even remember having a real Valentine's, a real Valentine. I know I was with an individual a couple of times way back in the day or whatever. It wasn't nothing major. I don't remember doing something oldie, over the top, like, you know, like, I just don't remember really having a Valentine like that. Um, not as a grown woman. Um, um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, it sucks. It bums that I don't get to celebrate Valentine's with a significant other, you know, but you know, there's always next year by the grace of God and we'll see what happens this year. I just really want, you know, what's best for me and I want to do what's best for me. And I understand that you know, um, overall, I understand this process is more about seeking God, you know? So, you know, maybe that's just what I'll do on Valentine, um, Valentine's Day, allow Jesus Christ to be my Valentine because I feel like that's the connection, the peace that, the link that I'm lacking. And it's not so much um, my relationship with Christ it's more so much of me diving in the word. So I really believe that that's, that's the link that I'm missing. I feel like I really do need to be in my word. I feel like there's an urgency for it and I don't understand why, but um, I feel like that's the link to me um, connecting to the man God has designed to be, you know, my spouse, my um, lover in Christ, you know? So my husband, my future husband, you know what I mean? So um, everyone who is celebrating Valentine's, whether it's by yourself, 
with Jesus Christ, with the significant other or your children um, or your parents, whatever. I just want to wish you all a very, very happy Valentine's Day. Even though I don't really get to celebrate it in the way that a lot of other people normally would. I still think it's a beautiful holiday. It's a beautiful day to celebrate, to embrace the love of, you know, the people that do value and love you and that you value and love. So let's not lose sight of that, okay? Because I believe Valentine's Day is what you make it. I believe any holiday is what you make it. Anyways, so. have, have a happy Valentine's Day and peace of love, love and harmony and be blessed, yes.